Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session part 2 for the maxima and minima for the functions of two variables. In the previous video, in the previous video, we learned the procedure to find maxima minima for functions of two variable. Those who don't watch the video, you can go to the playlist, watch the video part 1 and then come back to this problem solving session. Okay, let us go into the problems. Let us take few more questions in this session. As usual, the problems consist of four steps. Let us go step by step. So, the given function we have written step 1. We are going to find the derivatives. My fx is going to be 3x square minus 3ay is constant and differentiation of x is 1. Therefore, it is 3x square minus 3ay. When I go for fy, I have to come from here. My fy is going to be 3y square minus 3ax is constant and differentiation of y is 1. So, it is going to be 3y square minus 3ax. Then I want to find f double x. It come from fx. My a is going to be 6 x. Differentiation of 3x square minus 3ay partially with respect to x will give you 6x minus 0. Similarly, now if I differentiate this fx partially with respect to y, I will be getting my fxy that is nothing but minus 3a. And finally, we have f double y. So, if I differentiate fy again with respect to y partially, we will be getting 6y minus 0. That is my 6y. Now, step 1 gets over. We are going for the step 2. Step 2, we are going to find the stationary points. To find the stationary points, our assumptions are fx equal to 0, fy equal to 0. Now, let us do 1 by 1. So, we will be taking 3x square minus 3ay equal to 0 because my fx is 3x square minus 3ay. Now, simplifying this, we will be getting 3x square is equal to 3ay. 3 3 get cancelled. So, we will be getting x square equal to ay. Now, similarly, we have to take fy equal to 0 and simplifying this, we will be getting 3y square equal to 3ax. When 3, 3 get cancelled, we will be getting y square equal to ax. So, I get two different equations. That is, x square equal to ay and y square equal to ax. In the previous video, we get the stationary points directly. But here, we don't get the stationary points directly from this two equations. So, we get some relations. Now, let us solve this and find the stationary points. Now, I am going to square this x square equal to ay. So, I will be getting x square whole square is equal to ay square. That is, x power 4 is equal to a square y square. Now, I know the other equation that is y square equal to ax. I am going to substitute this here so that I will be getting x power 4 is equal to a square into ax. So, we will be getting x power 4 is equal to a cube x. Now, the biggest mistake students will do in this, what they will do? They will cancel one x with both sides and they will lose one point. Never do this error. Let us see the typed version of this. So, never try to cancel this. So, take a cube into x to the other side. Now, I can take x as common. x cube minus a cube equal to 0. Therefore, we know that x equal to 0 and x cube minus a cube equal to 0. Simplifying this, we will be getting x cube equal to a cube. Finally, we will get x equal to a. So, one point is x equal to 0 and the other point is x equal to a. So, now we get two points for x. That is x equal to 0 and x equal to a. Now, I want to find the corresponding point for y at 0 and a. Now, I am going to choose this equation. You can choose anything. I feel this is easy. I will take this equation and I make the box x equal to 0. Now, if I substitute x equal to 0 here, it will become y equal to 0. Next, if I take the point x equal to a, when I substitute here, I will be getting a square equal to a y. So, y equal to a. Therefore, my stationary points are 0, 0 and a, a. These are all my two stationary points. So, next step 3, we are going to make the table. From the table, we are going to find whether the points are max or min or saddle or inconclusive. Let us go into the table. So, we know the table consists of stationary points, a value, 
C value, B value and AC minus B square value and we will write the conclusion. As I said initially, whenever you write A, you go to step 1 and copy the value of A. Similarly, the value of C and value of B, it is useful and helpful for you to solve the problem in a quicker way. So now the stationary point is 0, 0. For this, when I substitute 0, I will be getting this point is 0, C is 0, B is going to be constant minus 3A, it will never change. Now, when I calculate AC minus B square, we will be getting 0 minus of minus 3 whole square. So, minus 9A square. This minus is because of the minus outside. Therefore, minus 9A square. We know that A square is positive. So, minus 9A square is always negative. So, immediately we make the conclusion it is going to be a saddle point. So, I don't need it. Next, the second point is A comma A. When I substitute in capital A, I will be getting 6A. Here also I will be getting 6A. This is minus 3A. So, AC minus B square is going to be 6A into 6A minus minus 3A whole square. So, 36A square minus 9A square. Simplifying this, we will be getting 27A square. No doubt that A square is always positive and 27 is positive. Therefore, 27A square is always greater than 0. Now, there is a headache. What we have to do? If it is a number, suppose 4, I will tell greater than 0. If it is minus 2, I will tell less than 0. But the data says it is 6A. But in the question, they don't mention what is A. So, A may be less than 0. A may be greater than 0. We don't know. So, now I cannot conclude directly. So, if A less than 0, then 6A will also less than 0. I will say this as a max point. If A greater than 0, then 6A also greater than 0. I will say this as a min point. So, it can act as either max point or min point according to the value A less than 0 or A greater than 0. So, we have to write the conclusion like this. Since AC minus B square is equal to 27A square that is greater than 0, when A greater than 0, 6A greater than 0. So, AC minus B square greater than 0. This says that F has minimum. When A less than 0, my capital A is also less than 0, but still AC minus B square is greater than 0. So, it shows that F of X, Y is maximum. Therefore, the maximum or minimum value is going to be the same, A comma A. It depends on the values of A. So, we simply write A. Substitute A comma A in F of X comma Y and simplifying this, we will be getting minus A cube. Is it clear? If A is less than 0, for example, you take A equal to minus 2. Minus 2 whole cube, we will be getting minus half, minus 8, 8. It is going to be my maximum number. Suppose, if A is greater than 0, take A equal to 2. Now, minus 2 cube, it is going to be minus 8. This is going to be my minimum value. I just give this as an example, but in general, the max or min value is minus a cube. Problem gets over. Hope you understand. Let us go into the next problem, a small application problem. A flat circular plate is heated so that the temperature, as I said in the beginning, temperature function people always mention in terms of u of x comma y. So, the temperature function is going to be x square plus 2y square minus x. Now, our job is to find the coldest point on the plate. So, as I said, first assume let f of x comma y is equal to u of x comma y. Why? Because I don't want U, Psi, Phi, all notations. I'll go by F. Let us take the problem. Now, step 1. For F of X, that is X square plus 2Y square minus X. First, I want to find the FX. That is going to be 2X. Second term is 0 minus 1. So, I am writing 2X minus 1. When I want to find FY, I differentiate F with respect to Y. Partially, we will be getting simply 4Y remaining other two terms are 0 because it does not have y. Next, I want to find fx. Next, I want to find f double x from fx. When I differentiate this, I will be getting 2 alone. Then, when I differentiate fx partially with respect to y, there is no y term. So, it will become 0. 
and finally when i differentiate fy again partially with respect to y i'll be getting f double y that is my c it's going to be 4 so step 1 gets over now let us go into step 2 the stationary points are fx equal to 0 fy equal to 0 now equating this it is going to be very simple i will be getting the point directly 2x equal to 1 x equal to 1 by 2 next similarly when i take 4y equal to 0 i'll be getting y equal to 0 therefore i have only one stationary point that is 1 by 2 comma 0 okay let us go into the table our stationary point is 1 by 2 comma 0 here in this table all a c b three values are going to be constant so it will come as it is so we see capital a is greater than 0 that is 2 c is 4 b is 0 so a c minus b square is 8 that is greater than 0 since a greater than 0 and a c minus b square greater than 0 we conclude the point 1 by 2 comma 0 is the minimum now at the point we can say f of x comma y will attain the minimum value so now substituting the point 1 by 2 comma 0 in f of x comma y we will be getting the value as 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 that is minus 1 by 4 so this is the minimum value and 1 by 2 comma 0 is the minimum point thank you for watching the video subscribe our channel share to your friends click a like in the next video we'll see with the other topic see you bye bye